electricity. It is one of the greatest discoveries in the history of the world. It lights almost the entire world by means of bulbs. In fact, this great discovery was noted in verses of the Quran 14 centuries ago. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The metaphor of his light is that of a niche in which is a lamp, the lamp inside a glass, the glass like a brilliant star lit from a blessed tree, an olive neither of the east nor of the west. Its oil all but giving off light, even if no fire touches it. Light upon light. God guides to his light whoever he wills, and God makes metaphors for mankind, and God has knowledge of all things. This verse refers to something that emits light. It appears that this body miraculously refers to the light bulbs used almost everywhere on earth in the present day. A bulb is a body which shines like a star and emits light inside glass and that is in full conformity with the description in the verse. The fact that the fuel used by this light-emitting body belongs to neither east nor west may be an indication that it has no physical dimensions. Electricity, the fuel of the light bulb, indeed is not in material dimension, but in an energy dimension. Unlike oil lamps and gas lamps, light bulbs burn without fire, in line with the description supplied in the verse. In light of all this information, it may be inferred that this verse is referring to the light bulb, a most important invention. God knows best. The British physicist Paul Dirac, who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1933, made a most important discovery. This finding, known as parity, revealed the duality known as matter and antimatter. Antimatter bears the opposite characteristics to matter. For instance, contrary to matter, antimatter electrons have a positive charge, while protons have a negative electric charge. Nobody was aware of this scientific fact when the Quran was revealed 1400 years ago. Yet, it was clearly revealed in verses that everything in the universe has been created in pairs. A verse in the Quran shows this as follows. Glory be to him who created all the pairs, from what the earth produces and from themselves and from things unknown to them. Up until 20 years ago, it was believed that the smallest particles were the protons and neutrons that comprise the atom. However, advances in science and technology disproved this. It was realized that the atom, regarded as the smallest unit of matter, could be divided into even smaller subcomponents. A specialized branch of physics emerged to study these subparticles and their particular behavior. Particle Physics Particle physics research has revealed that the protons and the neutrons that comprise the atom actually consist of subparticles known as quarks. This fact only emerged in the last century, but it was revealed in the Quran. He is the knower of the unseen, whom not an atom's weight eludes, either in the heavens or in the earth, nor is there anything smaller or larger than that which is not in a clear book. In another verse, God tells us that, 
not even an atom's weight eludes your lord either on earth or in heaven nor is there anything smaller than that or larger which is not in a clear book this verse refers to atom and smaller particles still the fact that there are even smaller subunits was imparted to humanity in the Quran fourteen centuries ago he who possessed knowledge of the book said I will bring it the Queen of Saba's throne to you before your glance returns to you and when he Solomon saw it standing firmly in his presence he said this is part of my Lord's favor to test me to see if I will give thanks or show ingratitude. He who possessed knowledge of the book told Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, that he could bring the Queen of Saba's throne to him very quickly. Another astonishing fact is being indicated here, the transmission of images with present-day advanced technology. Another verse on the subject reads, A demon of the jinn said, I will bring it to you before you get up from your seat. I am strong and trustworthy enough to do it. In our day, information of all kinds can be sent anywhere in the world in a matter of seconds, thanks to the Internet and advances in computer technology. In addition, research into the transmission of matter is continuing. Indeed, according to a CNN report on 17 July 2002, a group of physicists from the National Australian University in Canberra split a laser ray and transmitted it several meters. Ping Koi Lam, the team's head, stated that transmitting matter in its atomic state might become a reality in the future. This is just as is revealed in the verses.